Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Debbie. How was your week this week? I know it was another week. There, there's been 93 weeks, I think, that we've been home. But, and I'm missing, missing you. I hope everybody is well and you're still in a, in a good frame of mind as we walk through all of these days together separately. Today, our story is about uh, a, more of a poem than a story. And it has to do with sheep. Have you ever taken care of an animal? Tell me, tell me what animals. Oh, that's a lot. I, I hear cats and dogs and goats and fish. I've had uh, a horse, but not in my house. <laughs> but today's story about is about the care and, and comfort that we find in our Lord who takes care of us the way our, our friend David took care of his sheep. David is um, a shepherd. He plays music. He grew up to be a great king. And you know what? He's also in the family tree of Jesus. We're going to tell a story about how he feels about his Lord. Let's get started. The Lord is my shepherd. I have what I need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a good story. What a wonderful thing to know that no matter what happens in our lives, God is with us. The part of God the Father today in our story was played by God the Son. So for the older kids in the group, you know that Jesus hadn't been born yet, so his presence was the presence of God the Father in our story. But what a great, great thing to know that no matter what we find in life, that we'll be led and we'll be comforted and we'll be protected by Jesus, by our God. If you want to know more about David, look in the books of Samuel, 1 Samuel 16 and 17. It tells, tells lots of stories about David. David and Goliath, David and his friend, John, his friend Jonathan, um, the story of King Saul. There's so many things about David that we know. And throughout his whole life, David kept coming back to God, thankful for the love and care that he received from God, no matter what he did, no matter what he went through in life. How about if we all say a prayer, as everybody. Everybody's, all right, everybody's good? All right, fold your hands and we'll say a prayer. God of comfort, thank you for David, for his songs, for his poems. His thoughts are so clear and his experiences are the same as ours. He had a long life full of good things and bad things, but he still sings about his love and thankfulness for the care that you provided for him. Surely goodness and mercy are following us today, and we have all that we need. May we keep those words in our hearts 
In all of this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week, everyone. Take good care of yourselves. See you next time.